Today's game has been brought to you by Allstate. Are you in good hands? And by the fourth annual Spartan Clash. For tickets, call the Michigan State Ticket Office at 1-800-GO-STATE. 52-50, the final score. Spartans over the Eagles. And we talked about State Pride being on the line. Boy, this sure was a good ball game. It was 24-20 midway through the third quarter as uh, the Eagles came back after trailing 24-3 in this game and used uh, the comeback in a variety of ways on special teams, turnovers, and the offense driven by uh, the young uh, quarterback in Schmidt locally from the area here in Lansing and uh, give a lot of credit to this team. They, uh, they certainly gave Michigan State it's, it's money's worth, if you will. And uh, the Spartans, though, prevail after that. They finally took over like the Big Ten team you would expect took over. Yeah. And we talked about that in the open. You know, play with emotion, play with expectation. And it took Michigan State a while to do so, but once it became explosive, number five took the reins on option plays, on throws off to the perimeter to Matt Trannon. He goes over 5,000 yards there. Then a little razzle-dazzle. Nice block by Stanton there. And a nice throw by Trannon backside. But it was just a matter of time because they have so many weapons on offense. And they have Ringer, they have TJ Williams coming out for his first TD reception. Craig, it's just amazing how many weapons they have in this offense. And like I told you, it's going to come down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to stay healthy, gain experience as they move forward? And we saw Jimerson also emerge when given his time out of the tailback as well. And final numbers, uh, Michigan State controlling the ground game. Uh, the air game for Eastern got them back into this one, but uh, look at the first downs. Michigan State with 29-12 advantage there. And Eastern could not convert on the third down conversions when they needed to, and that uh, turned out to be very big as well, and Michigan State uh, in the red zone nearly flawless. So now they have to take their show on the road to Pittsburgh, and Eastern goes to Northwestern. Well, something to build on for both these programs. A lot of good for Eastern Michigan to come out of this game, and there's a lot of good things that Michigan State can take down to practice this week. You have to practice well after coming off a big emotional win here against the in-rival uh, East, Eastern Michigan. That's right. Uh, with Central Michigan at Michigan earlier today, and Michigan prevails this time here uh, in East Lansing. It was Michigan State, the winner over Eastern Michigan. It was a good ball game to watch, but Michigan State comes out on top. 52-20 is the final score in a well-played ball game here between two state rivals, but Michigan State improved to 7-0 overall against Eastern Michigan. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Mike Tomczak and our entire crew, I'm Frank Ashan saying so long from East Lansing. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Up against the wall. Went down in a heap. But the important thing is that he hung on. Dies in the conversation for MVP as the White Sox get the win. Number nine, Minnesota and Cal. And just sit back and relax for a little while because it's going to be a while. Dominic Jones, the 99-yard kickoff return. Got some short little legs, but they move fast. <laughs> they certainly do. Unfortunately, Minnesota loses 42-17. Number eight, Tigers and Twins. It's a close game all the way through. Nick Punto. In time, and the Twins win two to one. The lead three in the Central now. Number seven, UMass and Navy. Liam Cohen looking and hooking up with JJ Moore for the score. And another unfortunately, because UMass loses 21 20. Colorado and Colorado State. Caleb Haney going up top to Johnny Walker. What a grab. Hey, cheers to Johnny Walker. Colorado State wins it 14-10. That's good writing. Number five, Royals and Red Sox. Andres Blanco. Barehanded, doesn't miss a beat. The pick up the throw. Just the way they practice it. Royals win 10-4 and 12. Number four, Texas Tech. Texas Tech and UTEP. Oh, and look at this. 
It's Lawrence Sam to Joe West for the touchdown. The Miners in the house, but they go down 38-35. Hey, nothing minor about this between the Indians and White Sox for number three, Grady Sizemore, a major catch. We've seen that a few times from him this season. You know the ladies love Grady. Number two, Eastern Michigan and Michigan State. The double reverse, Matt Trannon with a 35-yard touchdown pass from A.J. Jimerson. The quarterback, Drew Stanton, with a big block there. And Michigan State, no problem with their rivals from across the state. Number one, Stanford and San Jose State. Off the reverse, James Jones changing direction. And can anybody in a white jersey take him down? Got some great blocks. And he's in for the 42-yard score. That is worthy of number one. San Jose State wins a close one, 35-34. Still to come, Martina Navratilova at 49, trying for one last win at the U.S. Open. Find out if she got it next.